Hey there, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. And uh, welcome. Uh, for those of you that I do not know, uh, hi. I'm on here to uh, just kind of say, hey, how is it going? Big shout outs to Nicole for allowing me to grace all of you awesome people with my presence, honestly. Uh, and just like, there she goes again. Sagittarius, this does have to do with your reading uh, for love, wealth, health, uh, friends, finances, anything like that. However, um, you know, we're going through certain uh, of our fellow superstars out there, big shout out to you, are going through the boot camp here and honey. And if some hater wants to be like, oh, you have a certificate, how cute, what did you do? Just like, and she... Oh no, honey, you've got to work for that. <laughs> you've got to work for that thing. Classes constantly, videos constantly, uh, you know, uh, doing my channel, having to redo everything. And I have nothing uh, but love for all of you and Nicole for helping me out big time. So uh, I do apologize if I come across as a know it all. Really, I'm not. <laughs> So uh, let's just see here, Sagittarius. All right, so your fire sign, rolling planets, Jupiter. All right, uh, let's see here. Also to uh, be on the lookout for December 2020, and this is, uh, I need to take a break for a second. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything about Mercury or anything like that, even though it may have nothing to do with anything. Some of you are working with, you know, Mercury energy. Some of you could be, you know, possibly, I don't, I don't know, working with uh, a Gemini, maybe another air sign, possibly a Libra, uh, even Aquarius. So let's see here, electronical issues. Uh, one thing I do know uh, that has helps me and uh, I, I am a certified angel oracle reader, all right? I'm constantly studying with everything. However, when it comes to electronics, I'm like, I need, I really need to investigate this and do the research on this because, honey, please. Uh, yeah, so Archangel Michael is great for doing that for you, all right, or helping you out with that. So whether you believe in angels or not, you know, that's totally up to you. That's cool. It's your life. You know, uh, I definitely believe in them and they work just like that. However, you do have to ask because they cannot interfere with uh, free will unless it's under the uh, law of grace. All right. And there really is no written rule to anything. So you do what is best for you. Really don't need these cards. I'm really trying to work on not using them because right now... Uh, you're using them as a tool. You're using them as a crutch. You know what you're here to do. This is for you, Sagittarius, as well. Some of you out there are some of the most powerful mediums uh, that you could come across. Okay. And also, too, very good looking. You've got that fiery energy there. So electronic stuff, you may be dealing with electronic issues. Um, big surprise, right, as to what's going on uh, with the uh, state of that world right now. I call it that world because it's not a part of mine. I don't allow it to be, even though whatever. So let's see here. Some of you could also be working with earth signs, maybe Taurus, Capricorn, or possibly Virgo. All right. So it's like I'm shuffling because I'm nervous. You know, uh, people may be like, oh, well, you talk with your hands too much and this and that and this and that. Sagittarius, I'm just going to say it. You know, you're, you're fabulous. You're good looking. People are kind of tossing around the word jealous, you know, jealous of uh, if you are in a successful relationship, all right? Um, no, and I, I'm not going to dwell on the past, you know? So what this does have to do with December 2020, all right? Uh, you know, it's just like people are like, you're never going to make it. You're never going to be this. You're never going to be that. <laughs> okay, again, that's a part of their reality. You do not have to let it um, become your own. And that's very hard to do. All right. Especially if you have to like live with someone, you know, especially, uh, whatever, if, if it's family or friends or even a lover or something like that. Oh, please <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> Sagittarius, because it's just like, okay. Uh, Ooh, that's a new one. I haven't been called that one before. Hold on. Let me get the pen. Let me write this down. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I'll get to you in a year because like so many people are jealous and hate me. <laughs> We're gonna have to make an appointment, maybe pencil you in like a year in advance because <laughs> you know you're doing something right, right, Nicole? Like, awesome. And also too, for Christmas, I am asking uh, for my Christmas gift that I want this year, whether you celebrate it or not. Here we go again, yep. I want you to donate some moolah to Nicole, all right, uh, by the book, if you feel otherwise. I mean, you could get some great education off of that uh, bestseller. I cannot wait to receive it, get a review on it, and uh, get it out there because, I mean, honey, it takes a lot to tame this or, you know, we're, we're, we're working on it. I'm a Torian, so it's slow. What this has to do with your reading. All right, everything, everything, everything. Uh, wanting things quick and easy, quick and easy. That's not Sagittarius, is it? You're not, you know, cheap. People may talk to you like you're cheap, but you got, you're, you're classy. You can be nasty. What's that song? I'm not even going to say. I've got to behave. So... Uh, let's see here. I'm not going to pull a card. This is very scary. Very scary times. Very scary for me. Uh, very like scary trying these new things, not pulling a card here. Are people going to be upset? I'm not sure. Perhaps I'll pull one. Ugh. I don't want to really. All right. So anyways, electronic stuff may be going, uh, possible car breakdowns, maybe like an appliance breaks down. Maybe you're having internet issues. Maybe like somebody or a pet knocks like something, you know, like your juice or uh, possibly like a glass of wine. You're going to need one after that point when they uh, knock that all over your computer. And it's like, all right, it's an accident. Accidents happen, whatever. You're Sagittarius. All right. And uh, also too, Sagittarians are some of the best business leaders out there. All right, very driven. So they're not going to let anyone, nobody, yeah, again, nobody puts baby in the corner. How dare you? Uh, and, and it's just like they're they're very kind. Uh, they, they're kind of a mystery to me, honestly. It's just like I don't understand why the single ones are single because it's like they're good looking, all right? Uh, they, they pretty much have their stuff together. Even if they like to turn up or do whatever, I'm not sure. Nobody's perfect, all right? But it's just like, all right, the, the type of people that you could possibly be attracting are just like, hmm. Uh, not necessarily saying that you're purposely doing that and totally not disrespecting any cross watcher out there. Probably has nothing to do with you. Maybe somebody that's wicked jealous that it just can't stand to see this relationship happy and want to maybe break it up a bit. So not saying that that's necessarily going to happen. However, that could be a possible fear in the back of your mind. All right. Whether this person is going to be successful or not within doing so. Also too, again, um, and not saying that this is a sign that's going to be doing that. However, you're either going to be getting information from a particular sign, uh, possibly like a fire sign other than yourself. You know, Sagittarius, 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 Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, and I can just picture an Aries being like, Sagittarius, probably like one of your besties or something. Like, I could have sworn I saw so-and-so there. Well, uh, we're kind of like in this shutdown period right now. Are you sure it was them? You know, you're, you're wanting to get your facts, your your uh, analytical. Uh, you don't want to jump the gun. I mean, and it, it's just like, I, I give me the receipts. Like, do you have pictures, girl? And you know, in areas, they'll be like, oh, yes, honey. And I also, you know... Uh, put a picture frame around it and printed it out for you and this and that. And I also, you know, just so you have it. <laughs> so uh, also too, not saying that necessarily anybody is doing that for you. Uh, all right. All right. See, I still have to be in class. Let's pull a card here. Take a chance on love. All right. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. And this is what's going to bring me a very happy message for my Sagittarians out there. And uh, oh, yeah, too, by the way, <laughs> if um, somebody like I only want what's best for everybody out there, I truly do. You know, even people that may not like me or whatever, that's cool. I get it. Um, you know, that's their thing or opinion. And that's whatever they're entitled to that, I guess. 
So anyways, I only want what's best for all of you out there. So um, if I say something, and, and this is a prompt to my fellow readers out there or possibly going to take, uh, you know, some classes and looking into possibly getting into reading, I'm going to just, all right, let's just talk for a minute. Um, yeah, it, it's like you give your reading, all right, the message applies to um, is very generalized when you're doing it on a platform like this. However, when it's a personal reading, you can, you know, get more details on that because you're getting all those energies, all right? Couples readings, my gosh, how stressful are those? <laughs> it's just like, I'll be doing a couples reading and I've had to do those in person too. Oh my gosh. And it, <laughs> it was just like, the couple was sitting there and they were just looking at me. First off, I know they weren't really, they were there, they were curious to see if I could you know, do readings, which is a valid point. You know, you can't just go to anyone. Um, but you do have to kind of look around and see what's out there. And they get there and um, they're kind of looking at me and I'm pulling cards and they're they're doing this. And I could just almost hear like the husband being like, this witch better not say something nasty. So, and then I could just like picture it and I'm like, okay, so I've got to kind of sugarcoat this, not sugarcoat it without telling the truth. However, um, you know, then the uh, female there, it's just like, mm-hmm. Like uh, putting on their best behavior because it's like, girl, I know you want to say what's really on your mind right now because I can see by your mannerisms, but you don't want to say anything because you're going to get him mad. Thank you so much. I already know you're the real deal. Okay. So take a chance on love. Take a chance on whatever it is that you are going after in life, all right? Um, loving yourself, obviously. You know, when we start to love our lives, our change forever. And it's just like, obviously, it's really not that easy. But the, the positive thing, let's just uh, side note here. I've got to be careful with what I say, too, because it's just like, Carolyn, don't you dare push me into getting married or having a kid with somebody like that, whatever. I can't say anything. Like, you know, uh, however, somebody here, and if you think that, let's remember, again, it's the holidays. I just tell Scorpio the same thing. It's just like, all right, let's see. You want to get to the bottom of things. You could be in a very perfectly happy relationship, and this has nothing to do with you, maybe bits and pieces of whatever. Um... The holidays, so if somebody may be being a little bit secretive, let's please keep in mind that they could be buying you a gift, okay? Um, yeah. Also, too, if they're going, maybe sneaking out with uh, some other woman or man, it could possibly be someone that they know, like, all right, listen, I, I can tell you what they like, but I don't know what to buy for them. Can you please come with me and we'll figure something out, you know? And, oh my gosh. So, and it's just like, okay, okay, okay. And also to Sagittarius, um, not everything has to be perfect. All right, um, you, you're perfect. And I believe that the partner that you're going to be meeting uh, really holds you up on a high standard. So that's very exciting. Uh, even if you are already in a relationship here. And I feel like that, okay. Should I? Okay, so if they want to get you something, they want to take it a step up. They want that commitment here. Maybe um, you're just getting into the dating game, but they want to make sure the whole world knows that you're with them. Um, and then, you know, the, the post in a relationship and stuff like that starts happening, which again, that's been a huge theme this month, uh, too, for a lot of people out there. It's like you want to you wanna, uh, do that and celebrate your happiness and you should be able to however you get the they all come out the woodwork right however this is a uh partner that they're not going to hurt you like others have in the past and i feel like a lot of you have gone you've really gone through it you know the storm the weather here going out into that and this card's been pulling up a lot too you know um it's just like this, the perception of things here. All right, and this isn't an editing trick. And it, this sounds so lame even saying this because this card's been pulling up uh, for the readings on uh, my channel too. So something like uh, this right here, my what I see is different than from what you see, okay? So if we look at this here really quick, what does that look like? It almost looks like a unicorn here or a white horse here. Uh, when it comes to that particular spirit guide, very generalized, all right? That's freedom, freedom from your past, 
freedom from a particular relationship if you're looking to get out of it. Not saying that any of you are going to necessarily do that. Maybe you're like, yes, that's exactly it. Okay, it's on and popping. Bags packed, all ready to go. <laughs> so whatever, you know, just, I'm just the messenger. <laughs> you know, don't call me and be like, you're the reason why me and my woman or me and my man broke up and who do you think you are? So be on the lookout for that, getting into readings and whatnot. And you're not putting that out there. However, they don't know you. They don't see that. They just see... Oh, well, you know, I, I went to someone and, you know, they may have said or whatever, uh, or a friend of a whatever, and they said that you would do this. Well, who'd you go to see? Never mind, it's not that important. No, I want you to tell me now. It's like when the fights begin. And it's just like, oh, I want to go see so-and-so, a reader or whatever. Who was it? Because you know that they're going to get in contact with you. And um, it's just like, all right, you know, let's calm down, sit down here. Uh, it's not, I, I don't even want to get into that. So anyways, freedom from a particular uh, thing that you've been holding on. You know, this is wonderful. This is great. So, but when we look at the clouds, somebody could be looking at the clouds and be like, oh, let's look at the clouds here. Or somebody may be like, your, your, your mind's always in the clouds. Bring it back down, whatever. So listen, oh, I see... Um, you know, flowers there in the sky. What do you see? Oh, I'm looking at the same cloud. However, it looks like a house or something like that. And so what are you seeing right here? So it looks like a white horse. And then right there, it could also look like a person uh, with blonde hair, blue eyes. Don't know who it is. But you see how that can change like that? Maybe you don't see either or. All right, that's that's the whole point of this. Uh, you're going to be making it and weathering through whatever storm that it is you are going through. You really are. So this is wonderful. This is absolutely fabulous. And uh, this is great too, especially if you're in that, should I stay, should I go? And Carolyn, I know, you know, um, it's just like, you know, show and tell. And But this person was really meant to be with me and it's breaking my heart. And uh, it's like, it's actually physically affecting your health. Um, for that very small percent, that person will change. That's another thing too about going through it. You know, just because you're broken up doesn't mean you can't get back together and have your happily ever after. That's weathering that storm. So anyways, I hope that this reading was helpful to somebody out there. And I will talk to you all later.